Hey there, what's going on? Welcome to the new episode of What Else Can You Do With Your Logo? Today I'm going to show you how to create this interesting effect in Adobe Illustrator. So before we do that, if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with, notified with daily updates. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave it like this as a reference and uh, first thing we need to do is basically select typography. You can go here and press the type tool, click on the screen and from here is gonna you can like rename to whatever you want to your name or you, to your company's name or and so on and so forth wait a sec i want uppercase and yeah let me increase the size okay um after this i'm going to go to object and expand and click ok so now the letter is expanded and you can't rename it after this. Uh, now I'm going to ungroup it because right now it's grouped and everything is grouped together. So I'm going to right click and click ungroup. And then now as you can see some, uh, some fonts, some typographies is going to be when after you expand it's going to be like uh, you can like separate these. For example if I click and release compound path you can separate uh, some of the elements from the font. Um, we, don't, we don't want this, so I'm gonna unite these forms and shapes. And I'm gonna select, for example, the letter A, and I'm gonna go to Pathfinder and e click Unite. If you don't have the Pathfinder, go to Windows and select the Pathfinder. After you unite it, you can see it's like one shape and form. Basically, you can't uh, do crazy stuff with it. Like, it doesn't show show it like this. That's the main thing to show it as like one letter. So I'm gonna unite this, and I have have the same problem with the letter P. Okay, we're good. From here, uh, I still need to delete some elements from the letter. For example, uh, we have these holes. For example, here in the P, the A, and the R, and what I gotta do is select the direct selection tool from here or press the letter A for the shortcut and just select some areas from the interior of the R and then press and hold shift if you have in other letters you just press and hold shift select those also and as you can see it just it selected all of these together so I'm gonna press delete once and delete again and it's going to delete everything if if like you select the delete i mean if you press the delete the second of the, the second time it's going to uh, it's going to de uh, uh, delete all the you know the pet what is that the pets so yeah i mean anchor points anyways get the main idea so from here i'm gonna press shift plus x so it uh, switches from field to stroke you can do it here also. You can see this little arrow thing going on. You, can, you just can switch it like this. I'm gonna decrease the size of the stroke. You can decrease or increase it here. Make it thinner or thicker. I gotta go with uh, 0 0.5. It's pretty good. Okay. And uh, let me see. Okay, we got this. I'm gonna do it like separately. I'm gonna create the effect separately. So I'm gonna go to effects, distort and transform, transform. And here I'm gonna press previews. Uh, I'm gonna make some copies. I don't know, I'm gonna try with 20. And I'm gonna decrease the size of the letter P. Let me try it at the 90. Okay, it's pretty good. Actually, I gotta make it like a little bigger, 93. You can experiment with it like how you want to do it. It's totally fine. It's up to you. And now I'm gonna uh, mix up the angles to minus two. So yeah, this is pretty okay. And of course I can uh, modify the horizontal and vertical uh, shading for example if i edit the horizontal it's gonna move like this i'm gonna leave it like this it looks pretty interesting let me see how it looked in the here it, for example it looks like this but anyways i gotta do this and do the same thing with all the letters <laughs> And 
also another thing if you want to um, re go back to the effects menu like uh, if you still want to adjust something for example on the letters you can go back to the effects you just go to this uh, thing appearance if you don't have the appearance you can select it from the windows go in here and you see the appearance and here is the transform menu the fx basically the effect and you can click on it click previews and you're back like you know with the options here and you can like modify it more So I just finished it and I also did one where I increased the stroke a little more. Uh, I think this one looks a little bit better than this one. And yeah. So right now we're gonna edit the colors on this and we're gonna use gradients. Uh, I'm gonna test a gradient out so I can select the rectangle tool and gonna check on this one. So the thing is with the gradients, you can find it right here sorry it's right here um, and make sure you don't make this mistake for example the gradient now it's on the stroke because the stroke is above the fill this is the black fill so the stroke is up the fill is down so it's gonna put the effect on the stroke so we don't want that I'm gonna click none and I'm gonna click on the fill so the fill right now is up we're gonna make the effect on this one um, let me see. I'm going to show you how to do this also. So basically, um, you can double click on these circles. You're going to see like you got, you got two circles. If I use like three of these, like th uh, three co color gradients. So what I do is press and hold alt and dr drag it to the right. And you can see like it's, it just created another circle. And from here, um, or just click here, you know, and it's just gonna create a new stuff. See this? So under the arrow, you're gonna see a, another plus and it's gonna create new um, examples. If you wanna remove this, you just pull it down and it just deletes these. So the main idea, I have three, uh, you can have more, you can add like different kind of gradients, however you like. And how to edit the colors, you double click on, on one of these circles and you, you have here the swatches, you also have here the colors, you can change it and you have the color picker. You also can pick the colors from other kind of places. But yeah, I just gonna go with these. I have some orange here, some pink and we also have this so um, another thing is you need to put it in um, radial gradients right now is on linear gradient and now it's on radial gradient but i'm still thinking like this one is like way brighter it, got, it, it also has some uh, yellow going on so i i'm still thinking to mix in some yellow So yeah, I'm gonna put um, another one in there. Yeah, I mean, not yellow, but uh, more bright orange. So I just gonna copy that color from here. Actually, no, I'm gonna just put it here to the swatch, so Take this and drag it here to the swatch, okay? So it's right in here. 
Okay, I'm gonna select one of the letters, go here to the strokes, click the strokes so it's above, not under the fill, and go to the swatch and click this. As you can see, it just added uh, the color there. I'm gonna do the same with uh, all of these. Uh, there you go, it's right here. So every, every each of them is like uh, recolored the new color separately. Mm. And yeah, this is kind of it. Or you can do it from here. Does the same stuff mainly, I think. Not really. So yeah, basically this is it. I'm gonna put a um, background, actually a dark background, so we can make this uh, so you can highlight the text even more. Doesn't look like the original. I mean, original is right here. It has some uh, more yellow in it. I can also mix in some yellow. You can change it uh, however you like it, but for this tutorial, uh, it's pretty much enough. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the rest of the tutorials also. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.